My name is London Rain. Thank you for joining me in my studio today for the first episode of Between Layers, where I break down beats, samples, and show you exactly what's going on between the layers. The beat consists of two parts, one synth part and one guitar part. There's no specific hook or verse and you should free yourself from those structures. There's almost no rules in music and you should just do whatever works for you. Think outside the box, be creative, be different. I don't really have a specific order for recording instruments when making beats. Uh, but for better visualization, I divide them all into four groups. The first group contains most of the synth tracks. Then we have a live instrument group with guitar and choir. And after that, a drum and percussion group and an effects group. Before we get into the synth tracks, I wanted to show you my setup when making beats with uh, virtual instruments. So I basically have one track with whatever VST you want to use. And the output is set to bus one and then we have a print track that gets the output from bus one as the input. So I'm not recording any MIDI, I'm only recording the audio that the uh, VST is putting out, basically treating it like a hardware synth. The synth I use for most of the beat is the uh, Emulator by Arturia, which has a very rich analog kind of sound with tape-like qualities, which I really enjoy. So I just went through uh, the presets and found one that I liked and then started with these chords. Continue to go through presets and uh, just play some ideas on top of that. And just so you know, I played in way more stuff than what you're hearing right now. I basically go through presets and when I get inspired, I play something in. And when I feel like I have enough, I just uh, go through everything that I did and decide if I want to use it or not. For the second part, I played in this guitar with similar chords to the ones that I recorded on the synth earlier. Here's a quick tip if you're like me and you only have one mic to record your guitar but still want a wide sounding guitar. What I do is I use a sample delay and slightly delay one side of the signal, could be the left or the right, doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, here's a comparison so you can actually hear how it's affecting the signal. I wanted to uh, enhance the live instrument vibe of the second part, so I added this choir. If you want to do good and uh, interesting sounding choirs yourself, you should definitely have a look into orchestral arrangement because that's where the magic happens. Here's a quick breakdown of what I did. I kept my arrangement pretty simple. I started with this uh, main melody. and just uh, layered the chords that I was playing with the guitar underneath that. Here are the drums for the first part. And for part two. Together with the effects. After mixing and arranging, I recorded everything to tape as always and slowed it down and that's basically it. 
I just put the whole beat and the stems on my Patreon so you can use that stuff in your own music or however you like. You can support me over there or right here by liking or subscribing. As always, appreciate you taking the time watching this and see you next Sunday. Love.